there have been star-studded Prince's Trust concerts spawning live albums and videos since the 80s, with one of the most recent to be staged under that banner, largely focusing on music from that decade. In 2004, Trevor Horn celebrated 25 years as one of the world's most successful music producers. At Slaves to the Rhythm, a unique Wembley Arena concert, 13 of his best-selling acts, guest musicians and a full backing orchestra all came together to present in one place, at one time, for one man, over two hours of distinctive music. We first heard of Horn with partner Jeff Downs under the guise of The Buggles in 1979 with the quirky hit that became the first clip ever screened on MTV in America, Video Killed the Radio Star. From that springboard, he went on to carve quite a niche in British chart music, concocting snappy radio pop as a session musician, producer, writer, backing vocalist and conceptualist, and even joining, with fellow Buggle Downs, the ranks of progressive rockers Yes, and taking them to number one in America with his Owner of a Lonely Heart. At the concert, Horn was able to command the presence of a great many of those he had guided to the top of the charts, with a string of one-off reunions worth the price of admission alone. It all climaxed with Frankie Goes to Hollywood surging through their indelible epics Welcome to the Pleasure Dome, Two Tribes and Relax. But before then, the audience was treated to The Buggles, of course, Dollar, Grace Jones, ABC, Art of Noise, Propaganda, Yes, Bell and Sebastian, Pet Shop Boys, Lisa Stansfield, Seal and sensual Russian duo Tattoo. With crisp, snappy hits like Poison Arrow, Slave to the Rhythm, Close to the Edit, Left to My Own Devices and Crazy, it was a show that articulated the essence of the 80s. There were around 100 musicians involved in this, including, I did notice at one point, Lowell Cream of Godly and Cream. Seal had never performed in public with the people who played on his records until this rather magic night. Ditto, the Pet Shop Boys met and sang with their backing singer for the first time. Horn, a famed perfectionist, managed to assemble most of the backing singers, session musicians, string sections and horn sections that had been used on the original recordings. The sound quality is just stunning. A lot of significant artists owe the bespectacled boffin a huge debt, and on this night, many of them got to pay it, in part.